If you launch into 4K, you'll get screen breakup all over the place. The whole bottom part here falls to pieces and there was no way I could work out. And someone cleverer than me could probably do this and it's a future project. You'd get this breakup at the bottom. So the only way to get it so it was super stable was to fix the resolution at 1440p. You, you can't go above it. If you've got um, HD 1920 by 1080, you're fine. It'll go to that, but it won't go above this. Even though it tries to, you can say in here, let me go to 4K, keep settings, it won't. It'll keep you at 1440p because the moment you go up there, it just breaks. It, it's just all sorts of problems. And I tried all sorts of things and, and it's really, and I, I know from Bazite, Bazite has a problem at higher rate frustration. rates. Now, I think you can go up to a 20, 120 hertz. I think beyond 120 hertz, it may explode. So it works on 60 to standard. Anyway, so there you go. So then you into your games. And as I said, I mean, things like Arc Raiders, I would put properties, I go in and force compatibility. So there we go, Proton GE, that works amazingly. Arc Raiders does on that. You just set up your compatibility on your games and then they run and you do everything you want. Obviously, Control 2 brings you up the side menu, go in there, switch on your performance overlay, advanced view. If you don't want your frames capped because it thinks it's a Steam Deck, if you don't want your frames capped, just take disable frame rate. I mean, disable frame rate limit.